Okay, thank you for the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for the possibility to speak here about laser application, and thanks for the last talk. Uh, I think there is a high potential of this measure metho method to um, make a quali uh, qualifying of laser um, technology, uh, laser application in uh, coated glass. Um, in the preparation of this uh, uh, talk today, I remember me of my last or my first um, presentation at GPD 2009. In former time, I spoke about laser technology for the purpose of uh, gl uh, glass marking. And in the former time, there was only two or three uh, laser technologies uh, uh, speakers, um, and they speak about laser technology in the lab status. Uh, and now I ask me the question, OK, um, today is the laser a tool uh, for uh, architectural glass processing? And at the end of my uh, presentation, I will give you my personal answer to this question. And um, I will introduce six applications uh, by using laser uh, for glass processing in the architectural um, glass industry. I will start with the cutting process of laminated glass. Um, and then uh, after, after this, um, with um, oh, this one, yeah. with uh, the shaping of, of glass, grinding of coated glass, printing, functionalized uh, glass, coated glass, and, and the final end, uh, the marking, the laser marking, my passion since uh, 2000. Um, OK, um, I will start with the, with the cutting um, of laminated glass. Uh, the problem, um, if you will cut uh, laminated glass, is um, that there is a PVB between the two glass plates and how to cut this PVB. Here, uh, the company Hekla found a very smart and, and clever solution um, to destroy the PVB before the me mechanical cutting. You see here the process. The glass goes into the machine underneath the uh, tool here. And uh, there are the first process is laser um, this, uh, destruction of the PVB foil itself. And uh, after that, this uh, destruction, um, the glass pane will uh, cut it mechanically on the top and on the bottom side of the laminated uh, uh, glass sheet. And um, if the glass goes out, the operator will show us it's easily to separate this uh, glass slide from the rest um, of, the, of the glass pane. Um, you see here the scratch. Here the scratch and uh, the PVB bit in between. And it's easily to, uh, remove, uh, to, to separate it. OK, how it works, we see here the cross section. This is the laser optics. This is the laminated glass with the PVB. Um, look for the glass edges. Uh, and then start the laser process. You see it here a little bit, um, the evaporation of the PVB. And so there is a channel uh, without PVB. Uh, and after this laser process, uh, the mechanical cutting tool on the bottom on, uh, and on the top um, uh, cut the glass. And uh, then it's uh, very easy to uh, separate this. Um, a huge advantage for this technology is uh, if you uh, want to cut uh, shapes, like the circle shape here. Um, there is a, it is necessary to uh, synchronize the uh, movement of the laser head um, with the uh, movement of the uh, glass sheet. You see here the uh, tool is running, and the glass pane has moved. Um, and uh, if this uh, good fit or uh, good uh, synchronized, then you can uh, get uh, the result that you have a, a circle uh, shape. We, ha we will see this in cross section two. In the next seconds, okay, it get go out. You see here the the the, bor the, sh the shape. And now it's go go in, and we see the uh, cross section. The PVB comes. The laser process starts now, and you see the glass uh, pane is moved. Uh, as well as the uh, laser head. And after the laser process, we have the mechanical cutting on both sides, uh, on the top and uh, on the uh, bottom of this. And then we, uh, it's easily to separate this uh, circle bowl uh, from, the, from the rest of the glass sheet. The operator will show us um, this Im immediately. And now. 
it's separated. Yeah. Yeah. This was the first application um, I showed you uh, using laser. This application is only pos possible uh, by laser uh, by using laser sources. Um, the next one I will show you to you is a um, collaboration with the company MDI. Um, it is possible to um, make holes inside the glass. You see here, oh, the laser process is running. Uh, please try it again. Okay, from um, the bottom to the top. Um, this is a laser ablation um, process. That means the laser removes material from the glass it's, itself. And after uh, the end, uh, we, we see we have a hole inside the, the glass. The edge of, the, of such a hole is very fine. There's no need for um, after um, uh, seaming processes or something like, something like this. It's a dry process. Uh, that means there's no washing process needed. Um, and the glass ca can uh, go directly to the next um, uh, production step. And it's possible to make a different shapes, as you can see here. Um, for the speed of such a process uh, until 12 millimeter thickness glass, uh, it's comparable with the mechanical CNC uh, tools. Um, I, I give you an example for um, four millimeter glass. You make a four millimeter hole in diameter in four seconds. This is a, so a example um, how fast uh, the process is. Okay, the next application um, is in the part of um, structural glazing, uh, there is a demand to remove low E coating or sun protecting coating. You see here the removal process of, in this case, of a metallic layer is a very fast process. And uh, the huge, huge advantage um, of this process is that the quality of the uh, edge removal is very high in comparison to uh, mechanical um, removement. And um, you can, uh, the, the process is, uh, in comparison to the mechanical um, remove movement of the coating, slower. Um, it depends on the coating type a little bit um, and, on, uh, of course, on the width. In the case of structural glazing, you, uh, you have a need to uh, uh, remove 10 millimeter stripes until um, uh, 300 millimeter uh, stripes. Okay. The next uh, application I will show you to you is that it is possible to print at the glass surface itself. It's like an old uh, typewriting machine. You use a um, coated uh, tape and you use the laser as, a, as the hammer and uh, bring the coating from the, uh, from the tape to the glass surface itself. Uh, please, can you start the movie? Okay. You see uh, here uh, the glass plate underneath this uh, printing head. The printing head goes down. And then uh, the laser process runs. And at the final, uh, final end, you have rebring material at the glass surface itself. It's fixed. Um, and you see here, in this case, we have this alarm circuit. Uh, this is a uh, printing um, with silver. Um, and um, in this picture here, you see the alarm circuit too. Uh, in this case, we have print um, aluminum. And uh, the huge advantage is there's no um, need for after tempering, it's fixed um, after the laser process. And this um, application gives uh, the IGU unit pro uh, producer the possibility to uh, um, make a flexible uh, alarm circuit uh, classes for uh, windows, for shops, and, uh, and so on. And there's no need uh, for the tempering. If we speak about coated glass, this is a, a high potential field for usage of, of laser. Um, we, uh, we, we saw, saw this and um, we developed um, a, a final or a, a basic machine um, that allows new class products, innovative, customized, and profitable. And uh, this machine is a platform. You can see it here um, with a loading area and with, with a laser safety uh, cabin. And inside this cabin, we have an XY portal um, and on this XY portal, it's uh, possible to um, put different laser sources, and up to six laser sources, or um, to make different things, different glass products, use different laser technologies, or you can put uh, six equal laser sources on it for high throughput. And I will show you some application. Uh, one of the famous ones in the last, last 12 uh, months is uh, the so-called mobile-friendly glass. What is the problem? Um, 
in the IG unit, uh, we have the lowy coating and the uh, sun protective coating, and this coatings are has an electrical conductivity, and this leads to, uh, that uh, uh, there is a damping effect of the irradiation uh, using for the smartphone or cell phone uh, connectivity. That means you have a better uh, or have a, uh, a not so good uh, connectivity inside of cars, buildings, or trains. And with the laser, um, it is possible to open this um, low E coatings or sun protective coatings a little bit. You see here, um, the laser removes material from the low E coating in very fine stripes, 100 micrometer uh, or less. Um, and in different patterns, uh, independence on the frequency band uh, for the uh, uh, cell phone uh, connectivity. And uh, so it's possible to have a, a good connection inside uh, buildings or um, cars or drains. And here is, you can see an example of um, the machine do this, um, so-called with the hand, uh, application handy free. You have a look inside the machine. Um, you see, oh, sorry. Uh, okay, can you start again? Okay, thank you. Um, you can see the XY portal system uh, with, the, with the laser optics here. And here the patterning process in this uh, special application, it's a um, um, pattern for 3G uh, connectivity. And um, the class, uh, the, the laser uh, is flying about the uh, cl class surface itself, removes the coating, makes the pattern, and afterwards uh, we have the con uh, um, a good connectivity uh, if this class is uh, installed in uh, IG unit. Um, some words about the process. Uh, typical process uh, times are five minutes per, per square meter for the mobile friendly class. Same uh, thing, um, a little bit uh, indifferent. Uh, if you have a conductivity uh, or conductive uh, transparent uh, coating, you can make uh, isolating lines inside and then put voltage on the, on, on the coating and then you can use this coating uh, for uh, treatment. Um, you have uh, application in saunas and, uh, and so on. It's a similar application uh, to, uh, to the mobile-friendly class. Then here, one other application, um, the so-called bird-friendly class. Um, we have an effect if uh, we can with, uh, re uh, remove with the laser the low-A coating, and we can modify the low-A coating. That means uh, with the laser, it's possible to um, make the low coating uh, visible um, by a physical effect of the silver atoms they goes to silver particles and then you can see or you can make um, uh, colors inside this low A coating and um, if you have special pattern um, in a di special distance lines um, circles or donuts or so something like this then um, it is possible for the for the birds to uh, uh, they can see the facade and avoid uh, that the birds hit uh, the facade and, and died. Yeah. Okay. Um, the next application for laser technology at uh, coated glass is um, that we can uh, avoid damages or um, at at air airports. Um, here's the problem: the following: we have the radiation from the tower, the radar radiation, and this radar radiation will be reflected on high-rising buildings around the, the airport, and the man in the tower maybe see two airplanes. That's not good. Um, so we have uh, to, to do a damping and on this class facade, and one possibility is uh, to do it with the laser, um, to bring uh, isolated lines uh, inside this coating in a special distance, uh, in, in, in depends on the uh, wavelengths of the uh, radiation of the radar, and then you can avoid um, this uh, uh, reflected picture, picture and the man in the tower see only one airplane. Okay, one application if you have thicker coatings at the glass surface itself. Um, thicker coating means uh, screen printed coatings. Um, on the glass uh, surface with a thickness of 20 microns or 50 microns, or something like this. Uh, here it is possible um, to make holes with the laser. You see it a little bit here. This is a cross section of um, schematic um, of, of such a glass. This is a glass pane, and this one here is the uh, color in the thickness range 20 microns or 50 microns. 
you need, and you can make holes um, with the laser. And then you have your shadowing effect and depends on the stance on the sun. Uh, if, if you have a high stand, then you have, you have a low transmittance inside the building. If it's a lower stance of the sun, then it's a higher transmittance in, in the building. It's an application for thick um, uh, uh, coatings. Okay, how it looks, uh, such machines, we have different types. Uh, here you can see a reverse machine, that means a loading, unloading area, laser safety cabin with the XY portal um, inside. Uh, we have um, inline system two with the loading area with the laser uh, patterning uh, area in the safety cabin and the unloading um, area. Um, or you can see a special machine, you, you can load uh, jumbo sheets with the grain uh, directly in the laser bird machine. Uh, the cover is open then for this purpose and uh, for the laser uh, process, uh, of course, the uh, cover will be closed. Um, this is for huge uh, glass panes. Um, and if you uh, will uh, process uh, smaller glass panes, then we use this automatic system here. This is a harp rack with 15 places. places and then you have a fully automated process, loading, unloading, uh, laser pro uh, pro uh, processing. In this uh, t uh, type, we have uh, do it for, for drain uh, classes. Um, yeah. OK. And, and in the final end, um, I will speak about um, uh, the laser marking as application for uh, laser technology in the field of uh, architectural glass. Uh, the purpose is um, to track and trace uh, the glass by an individual number coded in this uh, data matrix code, this two-dimensional bar barcode. And um, here you can see the principle of this laser marking process. Um, please stop. OK. <laughs> OK, the glass uh, comes, the laser comes from here. Here is um, uh, the consumable press against the glass surface. And then um, the laser uh, uh, brings the material from the, from the coated uh, tape to the glass surface itself and fix it. There's no need for, for burning or something like this. Um, it is fixed uh, uh, after the laser marking process. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the process. Um, and um, yeah. Uh, what the huge avant advantage is that there is no disturbance of the uh, glass uh, stability. There are no cracks, no stresses um, uh, during or after the, the marking process. And um, because of the high contrast of the marking, uh, there is a high machine readability. And this is the basis uh, to uh, use this uh, laser marking as a tool for track and trace uh, the glass brain through hole the factory. Um, we developed a special uh, consumable for tempered glass. Uh, you can see here the, the effect. Uh, this is the marking directly after the marking process. is a very dark marking. And um, if you put this um, glass pane into the t tempering furnace, then we have a change in color. And uh, then you can see, OK, the glass was in the furnace. This is double checked um, that uh, um, the, the glass is tempered. OK, how it works in the, um, in the fab. Uh, we mark the glass directly uh, before, before cutting. The glass brain is coming. And uh, we got the information from the ERP system um, how the, the glass ID looks like for the, each future single uh, glass um, pane. Uh, the marking system is um, mounted at the cutting bridge it's, uh, itself. And uh, then the marking uh, follows um, each. Uh, Glass pane has an individual uh, data matrix code. Um, and after this marking, we have the uh, cutting process. And this is how it look li look, looks like. This is the marking head uh, at the cutting uh, bridge. And we have here a little movie. Uh, on the customer side, you can see the process running. Um, this is the marking head and a typical uh, float cutting uh, table. And um, the marking time for, for such a, a marking depends on the size of the marking, the filling uh, degree, uh, and the typical times, two seconds uh, up to six seconds uh, per marking. And after this marking um, um, process, uh, we have uh, the possibility to cut the glass. And each uh, single glass pane has then an individual number, uh, number and it's possible to uh, track and trace um, this uh, through hole the uh, factory. OK, this is another example to integrate such um, a marking system on a vertical line 
uh, to mark fixed cutted uh, glass panes. Or um, uh, one example from the automotive glass industry, we have here the marking head at a robot uh, to mark in different positions for, for glass roofs uh, for the automotive uh, glass uh, industry. And um, after the marking, we, ha we have the breakage of the uh, single glass panes, and uh, then it's possible to um, drag and trace this uh, glass panes through all the factory. Uh, gives the information to, uh, about the glass idea um, uh, to the ERP. And uh, one uh, important thing is um, that we can combine the class ID with the rack number. And then um, you, every time you know where your glass pane is in, uh, in your fab. And after this, um, the glass goes uh, to the construction site. And there we can use the class ID too. Um, it is uh, very easy to read out uh, the marking by using a, a smartphone um, and a special app. And the app gives the information about the glass idea in, in a cloud um, and is connected with the uh, fabrication site. And then it's possible to check all the uh, data about the glass pane uh, or to order a remake. Um, I have a screenshot from su such an app here. Um, you can see. Uh, this is the, the, the code, the class idea, uh, and um, if you give this information in the, in the cloud, then you get um, the information about the class size, um, expert delivery data, uh, the status, this class is on, on site. This is one thing you, you get, um, and the, the second thing is um, you can add information um, about uh, the status of the, uh, of the class itself. Maybe there is a scratch, um, on, uh, a new scratch on the, on the class pane, then you uh, can make a photo, edit, um, load it in the, in the cloud, and uh, then you have the, the new status. Um, you can decide, OK, uh, is it possible to repair the scratch, or um, I have to replace and uh, I have to initiate uh, a remake. Yeah? It's a very helpful tool for future, I think, um, uh, to, to, to optimize uh, the, the uh, production um, order sequence uh, for the uh, class processing company. Okay, in future times, you can use this uh, class idea for building information systems too. Um, this is a typical uh, screenshot from the, such a building uh, 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 information system. Here is the class idea. Uh, then you see the place uh, in, the bil in the building. You uh, see the status is one side and uh, one thing is you can combine it uh, with all these uh, technical documents uh, required for such a class architectural uh, product. And so you have all, all things in an electronic uh, form available um, in uh, a short um, time. OK, I'm on the end of my presentation. And um, as I mentioned, I will give you the answer of the uh, question, um, is the laser tool for glass processing? Um, my personal answer is uh, yes, it is, but we are, we are on, on the early stage. Um, I see a lot of high potential for future laser applications and uh, the possibility to create new glass products. Um, and um, with this um, outlook, I will close my uh, presentation. And uh, thanks for your uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your presentation, yeah, okay. uh, you. Thomas. Uh, are there any questions? Yeah, hi, Thomas. Uh, hi. We make or we manufacture a, a high-quality EVA material mm -hmm. for laminating glass. Yep. Will the laser system be able to cut through a cross-linking EVA material like like PVB? PVB yeah. uh, I think it, um, it, is, it is possible. We have to check it. Um, what is the, the wavelength of the laser we needed um, of the absorption um, of the EVA? But I think yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as I know, century uh, class is, is possible too. Yeah. Um, so I guess it's possible. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Other questions? Uh, I have also a question. Uh, you said that you make stripes for the birds that they mm -hmm. die and also for the radar. Are you sure that to, to open the surface, that the open surface does not have a corrosion in the future? 
Yeah, uh, this is a good, uh, it's a good it's a question. It's very, very, very interesting yeah, 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 part yeah, because yeah. it's very difficult mm -hmm. in, the, yeah. in the layers mm -hmm. to, to damage the right yeah. layer, yeah, 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 not yeah. the wrong. That's, that's right. In the, in the case of modification um, of the, um, of the uh, low E coating, that means uh, bring the silver atoms together to form balls, um, I think there's no um, uh, possibility for corrosion. We have tested it uh, since t uh, 10 years. And um, all the other coatings, we have uh, out made outside tests, weather tests, uh, low E coating, uh, pure low E coating uh, at the outside. And we saw, the, the, of course, the low E coating uh, will be, uh, have a corrosion, but not the laser um, uh, influence areas. Yeah? Um, it's very stable. Yeah? And um, for the ablation um, of the low E coating, I'm not sure, but uh, if you are in, inside the um, IG unit, we made a weather uh, test uh, in chambers, um, and we so, saw not, uh, no, no corrosion. It's the same as, uh, as we have the laser edge deletion. Um, and um, I think um, we have to understand what, what, what happens. And uh, one thing is uh, that we can use this um, at the current method, I think, uh, to qualify what we do. Yeah? And uh, this is one um, of the things we have to think about it for future. Um, OK, we can make different things with the laser, but we, we have to qualify it with a uh, measurement method available at, at the market, or uh, we have to develop special uh, methods uh, to qualify what we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. OK? OK. I you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The applause again. OK. Hi there. Did you like what you just saw? If you did, why don't you like the video, drop us a comment below, and share the video as well, since GPD is all about sharing. And to receive more videos in future, subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to click the bell icon. Ciao!